Now, as we take this a step further now, we lead to step number two, which is let's talk about the how do we see productive and allocative efficiency? And how do we see these things in a PPF? So when we draw this out, let's do a slightly different example here. Let's do quantity of and yeah, no, let's uh what do I want to do? candy. Who doesn't like candy? And then let's do quantity of um pets. And yes, I know the examples are kind of <laughs> pulling at strings here. Um let's draw our PPF. This is a straight line reflecting the productive capabilities of the country. So let's just write that out here so that it's clear for everyone. PPF reflects the productive capabilities within the country. So, right, so we kind of have to add here the name of a country that this would apply to. Let's just make it the U.S. So the opportunity cost is going to reflect the uh, trade-off between the two. So that's going to be my um, slope is going to be this opportunity cost. And there's basically going to be three possible points that we could be at. Let's put a bullet point right here and call it point A. At letter A, this is a productively inefficient point. Why? So a point inside the frontier is productively inefficient. It's productively inefficient because I could get more pens, more candy, or more of both. I could get more pens more candy, more of both, without requiring a sacrifice. So there is no trade-off. That's going to become important because if this is not true, like let's say for instance point B, B is actually productively efficient. And the way that we know that it's productively efficient is that if I wanted to go to C, B to C would mean less candy but more pens. See there? We know it's efficient because there is a trade-off. There is a sacrifice. A trade-off exists. So that's how we know that something is efficient, is that that trade-off exists. It could go from B to C, B to D. Movements along the frontier simply reflect being at different productively efficient points. Here's another shorthand way of really saying this. All points on the frontier are productively efficient. Now, 
what we can say about this then um, for something like point E, at E, this is an impossible point. You cannot produce, that's key, produce, you cannot produce outside of your production possibilities frontier. Now, we know what productively efficient is. We know what productively inefficient is. We know what productively efficient is. Now we have to talk about allocative efficiency. To have allocative efficiency, well, this is right. We can see that along this frontier, there's a very large number of points. So this point is just as efficient as this point, right? They're equally productively efficient. Which one should we choose? Which one as a society would we want? So an allocatively efficient point is a productively efficient point that is also what society wants. So it basically takes into account our needs and preferences. What kind of combination of pens and candy do we really want? So there's going to be one and only one productively efficient point that is also allocatively efficient. So there's only one allocatively efficient point. There are many productively efficient points.